all right guys we are back and we're going right into previewing this is it's weird where my time slot is right now um i'm talking about games that are currently going on as like preview so i'll give you guys a little bit of a recap in the carolina hurricanes and new york rangers game and then i'll talk about previewing the dallas stars and colorado avalanche game i guess that makes the most sense with where the time is being live right now here <clears throat> Carolina Hurricanes just beat the New York Rangers four to one in this game five. Here, you have great production from the new or from Carolina Hurricanes, kind of uh, middle six really in this game. Uh, the Rangers looked like they were gonna get this game, st or the the Rangers looked like they were gonna steal another game with Igor Shostorkin here going into the third period. It was a one nothing game uh, off of a Jacob Truba goal. Uh, an unassisted Jacob Truba goal uh, on the uh, while they were shorthanded here. It was just an odd man rush that uh, Jacob Truba just snipes it right underneath Freddie Anderson's. I believe it was his blocker, right underneath his blocker. Um, so the Rangers go into the second intermission up one nothing. This a uh, low scoring game up until that point, but early in the third, the Hurricanes were able to tie the game up. Uh, from Jordan Stahl, uh, that was a feed from Dimitri Orlad. Let me tell you that goal from Jordan Stahl was absolutely nasty. He takes this puck uh, to the front of the net and he just is very patient with it. Goes around the goaltender, and he was able to score this goal. Uh, makes it a one-one game here. Uh, Evgeny Kuznetsov is the next one to score. This is an assist from Brady Shea and uh, Jesper Kukaniemi. Uh, like I said, this middle six is what's really working for the Carolina Hurricanes right now. Um, and Brady Shea, goal scorers, and when they see the puck going to the net, they start to contribute a lot offensively, and this is an assist for this guy. Uh, then you have Jordan Marinuk. Uh That's his second goal uh, of this postseason. Feeds from uh, Drury and uh, Marinichas, and it kind of looked like the Rangers were a little bit checked after that second goal, and this third goal kind of showed it. It was a weird third period for the Rangers. Um, you don't have Igor standing... Uh, saying like a brick wall in the net like he did in the first two intermissions and this is kind of is very reverse from what we've been seeing from the Carolina Hurricanes in these playoffs or in this series uh, it's it was they were winning the first couple of periods for the first couple of games uh, they just kind of fell apart at the end and they were losing the one score games but in this game they were able to win by three goals and on Saturday they were they were able to beat the Rangers out by one goal uh, in a 4-3 to three victory there. And for the Carolina Hurricanes, they end the game off with a Martin Nietzsche's empty netter. Uh, things are going right for them right now. Are they able to click fully here? It's going to be interesting to see. Uh, of course, they were down 3 nothing. Um, got a little scary for them. It's going into Game 6 now in Carolina where, you know, if we were looking at Game 6 in a vacuum, Carolina down only two, uh, only three to two in this series. Now, it's interesting if you're looking at it in a vacuum. But you can't look at these games in a vacuum, right? You got to understand that the Carolina Hurricanes just took two games straight, and what are the chances that they can take four games in a row? Or do you look at it kind of like they they need to beat the Rangers on, only two times in a row? They just need to win two games straight, uh, and they move on. It, of course, they're going to go with the latter, but it's interesting to see what what the thought is on, you know, like the general public, what they're really thinking about this one. It is really hard to beat Igor Shosturkin four times in a row. Like I said, I don't know if the Rangers lost four in a row during the entire regular season. I would not be shocked if they did not. This is really a good team. President's Trophy winning team. I I don't see them dropping this series from this point even, uh, I didn't think that they were going to drop the, these two games, though. I thought that this was going to be just a gentleman sweep for the Rangers. I thought they were going to take this game and the Rangers were going to win in five. However, my prediction before the second round was Rangers in six. So, maybe the Carolina Hurricanes just wanted to prove my prediction correctly. That may be the only series I get right. <laughs> but I, I said Panthers in five. I said Rangers in six, Panthers in five is looking good. They're up three to one in their series. There, I said Kane or uh, yeah, I said the 
at Avalanche in six. That's looking wrong as the Dallas Stars take a one nothing lead on the Colorado Avalanche in that game. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Shots on goal. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Um, we'll, we'll wrap up with the uh, New York Rangers and the Carolina Hurricanes real quick here. The Carolina Hurricanes can do this. The Carolina Hurricanes can make this comeback. They have the team for it. They're very talented. They're they're they're, they're a gritty squad. They're very fast, very young, and they're great. Um, the the announcers we're talking about. They're losing a lot in this offseason. They have like six UFAs going into next year. Um, this does include Jake Gensel, who was a trade deadline acquisition. Um, I don't know if it includes Evgeny Kuznetsov. I wouldn't be shocked if it does. It does include Table Terra Vinen, who I would be shocked if he doesn't go back to Carolina as he's really uh, found a home there. He's been great there. Uh, him, Ajo, Seba- uh, and Andre Sveshnikov have been a great line in Carolina his entire uh, tenure there. So I'd be shocked if he doesn't go back to Carolina, but he could go. You also have Brady Shea. Anthony D'Angelo and one other defenseman, uh, Brett Pesci, I think is the other defenseman, who are all UFAs as well. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, the The Carolina Hurricanes might be playing like their life depends on it because they really want to win this cup with this core together here while it's still together. So it's going to be interesting to see how they fight in this game six as I expect it to be a great game, a very exciting one on Wednesday night. I believe it's on Wednesday night. Uh, it might be on Saturday. It is on Saturday, maybe. I don't know. Uh, they haven't announced the schedule yet because I don't think the NHL... Oh, it's Thursday. That's when the game is. Okay, so game six will be Thursday night. Um, but that's enough on the uh, Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Rangers series for right now. As we're talking Stars and Avalanche, uh, the Dallas Stars are up one nothing in this series from a shorthanded goal via Wyatt Johnson and Sam Steele. Uh, that's why Johnson's sixth goal of the playoffs here. Um, 14 shots on goal to two in the first period. I'm excited to wrap this thing up and watch the rest of this hockey game because I think it's going to be a good one. The Avalanche just might be checked. They just might be checked out of this series. They just the, Losing Valerie Nishushkin, that's what we started this off, and this was probably what we're going to end off talking about. That's a huge swing when you're talking about the Colorado Avalanche. Not having that first line right wing and I don't, I, I don't, I, you know, I've been in here. I haven't been able to be out there. So I don't know if Jonathan Drouin is even playing in this game here. Um, that's, that's very disappointing for the Colorado Avalanche. Only two shots on goal in 20 minutes. One shot on goal in 10 per 10 minutes played. It's really, really bad. You have four on four hockey now. It's, it, it, it's sad to see them going out kind of sorry here if they were to lose this game. They, you know, of course they can make a comeback here. You still got superstar. You still have a great core here. Mika Ranson and Nathan McKinnon, Kale McCarr, Arturi Lekin, and these guys are great. Zach Parise has always been a star in this league. These guys are still great. These guys are a fantastic hockey team. Devin Tays is also really good. But it's going to need to be better for the Colorado Avalanche. Two shots on net in an entire period is not going to get it done. Um, I'd be very worried if I were them. Uh, this game is also in Colorado. so to, uh, I mean, it, this is a must-win game. It, you know, Going down 3-1 to one without your, your leading goal scorer in the playoffs here. You have two times that you're going to be away also. It's not good for the Avalanche. They're going to need to fight back in this one like their life depends on it. Uh, that coach is going to have to say something in the locker room here to uh, turn things up for the Colorado Avalanche. Um, but really for them, they need their superstars to be better. And I, it's it's funny, I did write this this little topic here after, or sorry, not after, but before, you know, the Valerie Nishushkin uh, news drop. So you're losing one of these stars here, but you're going to need... Uh, Nathan McKinnon, you're going to need Mika Rantanen, and you're going to need Kale McCarr to steal you a couple games, as they should be able to steal you a couple games. I would be a little bit worried for them when it comes down the stretch in these playoffs. I don't think that they can win a cup without that star that they had in Valerina Shushkin. It doesn't take one guy to win a cup, but losing one guy can ruin your chances at winning a cup. Um, And you could really see that when it comes to the Colorado Avalanche here. Uh, as I said, they're going to need to step up in the aggregate, and it's going to be interesting to see if they can step up in the aggregate. Um, this this series is another one that I'm very excited to watch. 
uh, this game is going to be very telling. So I can't wait to can't wait to watch this the rest of this game here as it is currently in the intermission. Um, so I'm going to go do that. Uh, so this this will conclude uh, this Monday night. A podcast from the GSMC Hockey Podcast. Thank you guys for being able to tune in. Uh, your support means a lot to us. Um, so please remember to subscribe to this show. Leave a positive review on whatever you're watching uh, the podcast on. It really does make a difference. We also invite you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, uh, and much more for content uh, and updates. Thank you once again, and have a wonderful uh, day, guys. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work.